Hi, this is Brian Fogarty, and this is a video for Chapter 15 of the book Quantitative Social Science Data with R, 2nd edition. And in this video, we are going to look at plotting predicted probabilities. So this is the last video of the uh, chapter, and since this is the last chapter of the book, this is the last video of the book. Um, okay, so in the chapter, uh, we do three plots of predicted probabilities for each one of our um, statistically significant predictors from the ordered logit model. Um, in this video, I'm just going to do one, just because it's a lot of repetition. But let's uh, let's just get to it, okay? So we need to load the GG effects package, all right? And then we're going to use the GG predict function. All right, we've seen this multiple times now. It shouldn't be anything new. Um, we're going to do model dot two comma terms equal confidence. All right, so that will give us the predicted probabilities of confidence for our outcome variable. Um, Let's just take a look here. I might be opening a can of worms a little bit. Let's highlight this and just see. Okay. So we see here that um, there's actually not a huge change per se. Let me see. Okay. You know, in terms of the difference between these um, levels, it's not massive change. And we see everything set to the means down here. All right, well, let's plot it and see what it looks like. Okay, so we have um, this. We're going to add labels to our um, um, the outcome variable, the um, strong leader variable. This is strong. Was it strong leader ord fac? Um, so. Right now, ggpredict creates a, an object or a saved object response level. Again, so the response, so those outcome variables called response variable, and then a level is the, the categories. So we're going to order it as a factor and then add our labels to it. So we're going to do mutate response.level equals ordered as underscore factor response level and then we're going to go let me see one two outside of it comma then response level oh, response level equals recode response level and then we'll add, I'm going to pull this back, we're going to add our labels here. So we have um, one equals, quote, very bad, comma, two equals fairly bad, comma, three equals fairly good, right? And then, comma, four equals very good. Okay, so that is it. And we have a double closed for the recode and then for mutate. All right, then we add our piping to connect with ggplot. We're going to do ggplot and we're going to put everything in this actual ggplot so it applies everywhere. Um, we're going to do mapping equals AES, and we have X equals X, Y equals predicted, okay, and then color equals response level. So we're not going to plot the um, prediction intervals here because it's, it, it, it will get too messy. Um, so we're just going to do color. All right, plus we're going to use geomline and then make the line, the default line, slightly bigger by saying size equals 1.25. All 
All right, plus we're going to want to make sure the x axis is set correctly here. So we'll do scale x continuous limits equals concatenate uh, 1, 4. And then outside of that, uh, comma breaks equals. We don't have the level. Yeah, 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 we're not setting the levels here. We're just we're not labeling the bottom um, of confidence. We're just we're just making sure that it it shows up as one, two, three, four. We could if we want. That might you know, we might want to do that. It just depends on our goals. All right. So breaks equals c one colon four. All right. So that will again make sure that it, we have on the x axis one, two, three, four, plus. Um, we're going to add our labels. So labs title equals, it's a long title, predictive probabilities of authoritarian, authoritarian regime support. Okay. And then comma um, x equals confidence in the national government and then comma y equals predicted probability all right so that's that's it for our labels here okay we go outside the close parenthesis do plus and then we are going to set the um we're going to add a label to the to the, the legend that's on the right. So we have guides, not guide, guides. And we're just going to do color equals guide underscore legend. And then title equals author auth auth <laughs> uh, regime, just so it fits. I mean, we could do the full name and then do a smaller font or make it go to a new line. Um, you know, how it looks, a lot of this stuff, right, with how it looks is very much kind of personal preference. Okay. Um, we go outside the second closed to plus, And then we're going to use um, theme minimal again. It's nice because I think it makes it look better. Um, we'll do scale color veritas for the color scheme. And then the last thing we'll do is um, we'll just make the title a, uh, a smaller font just so that it can fit um, better. So we're going to do theme and then open parentheses. Um, I like to do it like this just so it's clear. Plot dot title equals element text and then size e equals 12. Okay, I think, and then we have our closed here for theme. I think that's good. Let's uh, highlight it and run it and see <laughs> see if it works. All right, got it. I think it works. I'm going to drag it so we can actually see what's happening. Okay, so we see we have confidence on the national government on the x-axis. Um, each one of these lines is one of the outcomes of our, um, sorry, one of the, one of the, well, it is one of the outcomes of one of the categories of our outcome variable. All right, and then we, this is predicted probabilities. Okay, so Right, we kind of, when interpreting this, we want to look at kind of big picture, then kind of narrow in if it makes sense at, at certain aspects of it. Um, we, can see, we can see, right, that as confidence in the national government increases, respondents predict a pro probability of saying fairly good or very good to have authoritarian regime increases. That's the green and the yellow. Um, you know, flip side here is that 
as confidence in national government increases that there is a lower predicted probability of people saying authoritarian regime would be very bad or fairly bad. Sorry, I'm just processing this. <laughs> so as confidence goes up, there's less people. Right, that makes sense. Because these, at any of these points, these add up to one. All right, so, so if some are going up, the other ones are going down. All right, now, one of the things which we saw with this here, as I mentioned, like there doesn't seem like there's a lot of... Um, difference. If we look at our y axis here, we didn't set the y at all. And these are these uh, differences are not very big. Um, so, you know, there's an issue when you're creating visualizations about how to set the y axis. So you're being honest. Um, you don't want to, you know, zoom in to make it look like there's large effects when there really isn't. Um, this isn't exactly that situation, but it's kind of close. All right. Um, the last thing I'll say, uh, and we definitely see it here, with the green line, fairly good. Aesthetically, you can kind of see little um, bends in the line here. All right. That is because the, the functions that we use are not great at smoothing out the predicted probability lines when we ha don't have a decent least large number of uh, categories on the x-axis. Um, so for here, we're starting to see some of these kinks in the in the line. Um, in the chapter, I'll show you education. It's definitely, there's only three, so it definitely shows up. So online, um, I have a document that shows how to do um, how to plot predictive probabilities manually. Um, so basically, how do we manually do what the ggpredict function does? It's a lot of code. <laughs> it's kind of beastly. So um, the the upside is that it creates a nice um, some, some nice smooth lines, uh, but it is kind of you got to put in the work. All right. So again, that is, uh, that is it. This is the last video of the chapter, last of the book. Let's knit the, our markdown document here. We'll let it run. Hopefully there's no problems. We'll see if it spits out. Um, just to make sure. Okay. Let's see. There we go. All right. So it seems fine. There's PDF saved into my working directory. All right. So thanks for watching this video and all of the other ones. There's a lot of them. Hopefully they're useful in some way to at least kind of talk through what the book has. Um, some folks find it more useful to kind of see it in action than to just read about it. So again, thanks for watching. Um, and I'll see you next time.